Are we ready for a theme park renaissance? I think you will be when you have a look at this. Universal is, uh, they've, they've revealed plans for a brand new theme park called Epic Universe. It looks absolutely incredible. I'm not one of these people that particularly cares about theme parks, but I'm looking at this and I'm going, this genuinely looks like fun. It's got different segments, different worlds you can go to. Dark Universe, Super Nintendo Universe, all these different things. It looks amazing. Steven Spielberg was involved in the creation of it. This will absolutely dwarf anything that Disney has at the moment. It will destroy them in terms of the parks sector. Especially if Universal begins to expand. This will destroy Disney from that side of stuff. And it's funny because the parks is the only thing that's actually keeping Disney afloat. If you look at the statistical... You just look at the financials, right? They lose money on their media side of stuff. The parks is what keeps them alive. Universal coming out with this. This will have Bob I get very concerned. Very, very, very concerned. So let's take a look, guys. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. Follow me over on Twitter or X uh, and Instagram at Mistake Reviews. So Universal Epic Universe theme park. Harry Potter, Super Nintendo, Dark Universe, How to Train Your Dragon, loads of stuff. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. Uh, we've got lots of concept art and it looks absolutely amazing. You'll see why me, someone that doesn't particularly care about theme parks, is looking at it like, wow, I I would go to this. Uh, Comcast NBC Universal has announced its five worlds as part of the new Universal Epic Universe theme park coming in 2025, which includes the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, Super Nintendo World, Celestial Park, which we'll get to that is actually really, really good idea. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Bark, Isle of Burke, Burke, Bark, uh, and uh, the Dark Universe. A concept art of each world has also been released. And we'll, we'll take a look. So, here's the sort of gateway to Epic Universe. Beautiful, beautiful concept art. If it looks even the tiniest bit close to this, it will look incredible. So, introducing Universal's Epic Universe, the company's most ambitious theme park today. Universal Destinations and Experiences, a unit of Comcast NBC Universal, continues to redefine them themed entertainment. From the debut of a must-see tram tour 60 years ago to the creation of award-winning attractions and groundbreaking themed lands, Universal continues to raise the bar through innovation, unimaginable storytelling, and uh, game-changing technology. My brain is having a bit of a, a fart here. Uh, in 2025, UDX will unveil Universal's Epic Universe. Epic Universe will present a level of theme park immersion that is unmatched, transporting guests to expansive worlds featuring more than 50 awe-inspiring attractions. That's crazy. Entertainment, dining, and shopping experiences that come together to create an unforgettable adventure that is nothing short of epic. The addition of Universal Orlando's fourth theme park will also transform the award-winning resort into a week-long vacation destination filled with even more compelling experiences. Immersive worlds at Universal Epic Universe. Again, some more concept art. Look how beautiful this is. Uh, Epic Universe invites guests to explore five vibrant worlds filled with extraordinary and culturally relevant adventures that go beyond their wildest imaginations. So the first one is Celestial Park. Now I said I really like this idea and you'll see why. It, I think it's a great idea. So Celestial Park is at the heart of the park and the first world guests will encounter is Celestial Park. With acres of rolling gardens, chasing waterways and strolling pathways, Celestial Park will put the park back in, back in theme park. It's a park. Good. I really like that. I think that's great. How good is that? A beautiful garden, basically. That's amazing. I'm really... That sounds great to me. Old man H here. Uh, Universal Orlando revealed even more details about the, world, the wonders to enjoy while exploring this world. Celestial Park will also be the gateway to explore the four additional worlds of Epic Universe through a set of majestic portals. So here's a part of it. It just looks great. Uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. 
where I guess we'll discover a different era of the Wizarding World in all new land that blends 1920s Wizarding Paris from Warner Brothers' Fantastic Beasts uh, with the iconic British Ministry of Magic from the Harry Potter series. And then, of course, we've got Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo World, how cool is that? You literally enter it uh, with the green pipe. How cool is that? Um, we have this. This is the Dragon World, How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke, uh, where guests can soar with dragons in a colourful filled world with Viking adventures based on the wildly popular How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, this is the Dark Universe. Game for that. How cool is that? Uh, Dark Universe, where guests will encounter everything from the experiments of Dr. Victoria Frankenstein to the shadowy landscapes where monsters roam in a world of myth and mystery. Uh, this looks great. This genuinely looks great. So adding to the experience at Epic Universe will be three new Universal Hotels, including sister properties, Universal Stella Nova Resort and Universal Terra Luna Resort, and the majestic Universal Helios Grand Hotel, which is located inside of the theme park. Uh, obviously more expensive. In addition to raising the bar for theme park innovation, uh, this park is Universal Destinations and Experiences' latest development to integrate energy efficiency and sustainable construction. Blah, 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 blah. Don't give a shit about that. Uh, but we had this little video as well. They might copyright claim this. This may get cut out. Ah, uh, you know what? They absolutely will copyright claim this. So we're just gonna we're just gonna look at a little bit of it here and there because they will copyright claim this. This is like their history of stuff, and then they've got all of this. This is like the kind of what they envisage it to be. It just looks great. It just looks brilliant. I can't show too much because they they actually will copyright claim this. Universal has a weird habit of copyright claiming stuff all the time. Like this, it just looks fantastic. This will absolutely destroy um, Disney. Hands down, it will. More people than there are concept art. Fucking dickheads. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm really keen for this. And yeah, Steven Spielberg uh, was the creative consultant for all of this. So he helped, he helped in the creation of it all. What, you got Disney? Imagineers. Uh who can't even imagine themselves out of a paper bag. There you go. This will this will this will wreck Disney. And it looks great. It just looks really cool. Looks like good fun. Like I've never been keen on going to Disneyland, right? I've never never looked at that and gone need to go there, right? Never. This I'm looking at, I'm going, "You know what? That looks it looks like somewhere I want to go. I'm keen. I would be interested in going there." If the price is right. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.